Keeping wild birds and parrots as pets is unfortunately considered part of Brazilian culture. Although some species can be legally bought from commercial breeders, it is much cheaper to buy animals which are stolen from nature. Birds and parrots are collected in rural areas throughout Brazil, and not only sold locally, but in faraway cities as well as internationally. They are transported in cars, buses, trucks, boats, and even planes. And shipments can range from a few individuals to a single one containing 4,000 animals, such as you see here. But numbers for this activity are very hard to come by, and estimates range from hundreds of millions of dollars and millions of birds per year. Okay, birds are cute. They suffer a lot because of wildlife trafficking. But that's not the issue. Um, we are going to suffer without them in the environment, given that they are very important seed dispersers, predators, preys, and so on. All, all, all of these ecological functions are the basis for the, very for the maintenance of the very ecosystems we need for our own quality of life. Combating wildlife trafficking is a puzzle which can only be solved by a wide range of actions. One of the most important pieces of information we can get is where the animals are taken from. Knowing their origin not only helps us to release them back as close as possible to where they are collected, but identifying regions where they are collected on a regular basis is helpful, in direct, in hel is helpful to direct enforcement efforts and develop specific plans for that region. The current alternatives to releasing are either life in captivity for them or euthanasia. It is very difficult to put back animal in nature, and we have to worry about a billion things to get it right. We don't want to release uh, animals with disease. We need them to be strong and healthy. And as a geneticist, conservation passionate, and enthusiastic about mystery solving, I'm here today to tell you how I think genetic information can be used for us to, have, to make a better guess on where they are collected and maybe help decide where to put them back. Okay, there are two main reasons why it's so important to know, so critical to know where they are taken. Imagine two, popu uh, two populations of one species which are isolated, say, by a river. And yeah, this is a river, this is my talent, okay? Um, so the first reason is that they may have, these populations may have developed adaptations to local environmental conditions. And the second is that they may have developed groups of genes which work very well within each other, but not so well when they are mixed. So if animals from these populations are to reproduce, there may be some very negative consequences to the subsequent generations, a phenomenon called outbreeding depression. So one of the ways to find out the origin of a shipment is, of course, the good old police investigation, which many, in, many time, in many cases solves the, the problem. So this is just an example. Um, in 2006, Sao Paulo Highway Patrol uh, seized a huge cargo of blue-fronted Amazons. And after lots of investigation and questioning, Sao Paulo State Police came to the conclusion that they were collected in Nova Andradina, 700 kilometers from the seizure site. Also, after very intense work of rehabilitating these animals and a very serious work on the region where they were collected, the organization SOS Fauna now has an almost ideal release site here, where we can now release parrots. So one police investigation alone is not enough. Scientific tools can provide an additional source of information. For my PhD, I worked, among other species, with the red cowled cardinal. Today, I will share with you some of my very fresh and some unpublished findings. Our main questions were if using DNA as a tool, we would be able to identify different genetic groups in these species and if we would be able to uh, infer the origin of birds seized in Sao Paulo, where I live. So I had to do very intensive field work in the semi arid regions of Brazil where these species occur to get as many blood samples as I could from throughout the species range to build a database. Um, I also used museum tissue samples. In addition, I joined Sao Paulo State Police in raids uh, to get as many blood samples as I could from trafficked animals, which were uh, animals which were seized from traffickers. Then I did a very intensive work, uh, uh, laboratory work, during which I used cloning techniques to um, study these species' nuclear DNA for the first time, and I analyzed highly variable regions called microsatellites. And I just said the name because it's really cool. So my colleagues and I did a bunch of statistical tests, and I'm not going to bore you with those here. But um, 
we analyzed the genetic composition throughout the species and we found three different groups represented by the three different colors in this picture. We also found that these groups are not completely isolated, which drastically reduces the possibility of outbreeding depression, which is good, but these are different groups and they have to be taken into account. Um, and turns out that these groups, they, uh, where they had correlation with geographical areas, as you see in the map. Then we compared the genetic profiles of birds seized in Sao Paulo with the genetic composition of each group. And on a, once again, using lots of statistics, um, we found that, that the red samples, the seized ones, form a group with the green samples, which is one of the groups we described. This means that although these tests still need to be refined, um, they indicate that all the animals that we analyzed were collected from the same region, which definitely shows a trend that this region is actually a wildlife trafficking hotspot. So we are very excited about the use of scientific tools to unveil such an important trend, and we hope that this data will also support the development of specific plans, enforcement plans, plans for the region, uh, aiming at preventing animals from being collected and transported, which in turn will make their re re rehabilitation and release cheaper, easier and faster. Because if the pen is mightier than the sword, then the pipette is mightier than the cage. Thank you. <laughs>